and hold on hold on one thing sis you new to this channel do me a favor click that subscribe button hit the bell for the notifications and yes let's get into this makeup tutorial hey guys it's tyrasia aka ty aka Raja, aka chocolate bunny aka diamond but all right i just want to say hello how are you doing today <laughs> so as you can see by the title it's been a lot of gossip going on on the youtube world if you guys are not up to date I'm going to be talking about it, and as I talk about it, I'm going to be doing a makeup look. I'm not sure if I'm going to go basic or I'm just go out for a full glam. But, yeah. And another thing I just want to say, shout out to Juvia's Place. I love oh, Hold on, let me try to do it like a deck of cards. Your girl... I don't I don't play about support, you feel me? Juvia's place. I love Juvia's place. I love their foundation, their concealers. Those are like my go-tos for right now. But yeah. Let's get into this look. So yeah, it's been like a lot of drama going on for the past. It's been like a past couple of months because if you watch Jayla's um, looking down. I'm looking down at my um mirror, but it's been crazy. Like if you guys been watching up on YouTube, Jayla, the Valley Twins, and Missy, it's been a lot of things transparent. Like and girl, they hitting down to receipts, down to the T. All the conversations, boyfriends getting involved now, and it's just to me, I just feel like it's crazy. One thing I should say is that okay, it's you two. I know you're trying to make a little income from it, but at the end of the day, this is y'all relationships. Like this all should have been off the internet. It could have been something resolved if it was better communication to me. And I just feel like everything is just happening so fast. And I feel like Jayla is like, I don't know. I feel like the quarantine is getting to sis because she like, oh, I need everybody to pray for me. She's been praying for herself. She hasn't feeling like her normal self, which is understandable because you see that your friends are not talking to you. She's single now. She's not dating her boyfriend that she was dating and it was just a whole bunch of beef with the boyfriend and everything so all this stuff happened in a couple of months it didn't just happen like within weeks and if you watch jayla's um well i started watching jayla's channel when she was actually in college understand her because i also was in college and yeah she was like relatable so i began to watch her channel so yeah, I've been watching her for a while and I noticed that she's been having a lot of friendship go down the hill. Crazy how the YouTube world is with friends and everything, but I just want to start off the Baddies Twins perspective. They were friends, they was cool, they was vibing, you know. They was hanging out, going out on lunch dates, they was going out to like events with each other and i became a fan of the baddie twins and i was like okay cool i see them and the next thing you know you watch her videos and you see the baddie twins but you're not physically seeing them like you're just hearing their voices or if they do come by the camera it's like she cuts them off and to me i just felt like that was very shady if you don't want them in your videos don't have their voice in it at all like that's just me but to me is like if that's your friends why won't you have your friends in a video if you're telling people oh my friends are coming over we're about to have you know watch movies and eat and i just felt like it was always awkward so from that point on i was just like what's going on something is like seeming unnormal one of the baddies twins became 
her assistant. Like everything just went downhill once the Baddies twins was helping her out with her channels. Like I just think it's crazy how you could just be so close of a friends with somebody and once the business become involved everything just shambles into places and that's what i feel like happened to the baddies twins is once business got involved it shambled to me it's like once your business grow my friends is growing with my business the baddies twins felt like her hair hair business was picking up and he felt like that he should have got a raise and she told that that wasn't the best decision but to me, I feel like if my business picking up and my friends is helping me, we want to eat together. We eating together. So Period. if you watch her videos, you'll see like, I don't know. She just became shady with them. She was cracking jokes. But honey, she was throwing shade. I love you, Jada. But she was throwing shade to the bad twins. And it was just crazy. Y'all was friends before. It should be just friends. And if it was business before, it should be business but you guys were actually friends before and it just transpired quick and she's saying that her followers didn't want to see the baddies twins and that's why she was cutting them out in her video they were just hearing the voices and to me i feel like that was shade that's what i feel like she should have had a conversation with her friends like hey my viewers do not want to see you um, is it okay that um, I don't show you guys' face? Because if my friends had a YouTube channel and they was recording, they told me to come over, let's have a few drinks, whatever, let's make a video. And I'm not in the video, I will feel some type of way. And that's why I feel like miscommunication became first with them. Then the twins was basically helping her out like in so many ways. And I just seen that like Jayla um Jayla had a dog and the baddie twins was I seen in a video like they was walking the dog taking care of the dog like when she would go on vacations and stuff and it's just like it's a lot to put on I know they're two different people but it's a lot to put on just one person itself like you want me to help you out with your business then you want me to help you out with your dog and then it's like at the same time I felt like the fee should have went up from there because not even that. A dog is a lot of work. People don't know. People think that taking care of a dog is easy. Taking care of a dog and taking care of a business is a lot of work. So I felt like she should have gave him a raise when he asked for it. Even if it was a dollar. Like, come on, sis. You get a YouTube check. You got sponsorships. You got all this going on in your life as you telling us. And it's just like... Come on, look out for your friend. Your friend is there for you, you know? Even, like, off the cameras. Like, this is your personal friend. And the Baddies Twins, they have their own channel. So then they couldn't really be there next to Jayla helping her out. Because, you know, they got their own channel. They got to make their own money now. Alright, so it came to a point where Jada was asking for... for the cell phone and her cell phone back from the baddies twins and the laptop from the baddies twins and she had her boyfriend in the car which was a bad idea because i feel like if this was your friends i feel like they wouldn't hurt you and put you in harm's way and yeah so then they had a conversation a personal conversation and jayla came back and was like hey can i get the laptop now and i just felt like this is this is supposed to be your friend like you should know that they're not going to try to steal the laptop like come on sis like you know where they live so it's like if they if y'all had an agreement that y'all he was supposed to return the laptop at a certain date and stuff just to back up his stuff i felt like you could have waited like you just sparked up a little bit more tension than it already was and i felt like that was wrong because it's like okay you didn't speak to me in a long time and then all of a sudden you just want to come out and then you're not coming nice about it you're just coming off as mean like okay look it's whatever it's mine like shady and the baddies twins didn't like that because they felt like she was being an Indian giver. How you give somebody a gift and then 
asked for it back and it was just it's just like oh my gosh like you know what i'm saying so yeah that happened with them and the baddest twins they gave her back and then i think it was like a month after then that's when the whole i two iphones was charged on jayla's account and she, the way she did the video is like she was trying to blame the baddie twins because they knew her information but at the same time it's like if you have other people on your information it's easy to get your information i feel like her and the baddie twins they could have saved their relationship if they would have kept business and business and they personal life personal life i just felt like that's what got mixed up and stuff but you don't know what happened behind the cameras too like it could have been way more than what we known what happened between them but yeah when you're dating a guy and y'all having problems do not tell your friends your problems because see how everything just backfired like oh they had a issue with this then a third the simplest things you should not be telling your friends everything that's going on with your spouse should be kept between you and your spouse and don't tell your friends your fa especially your family members like when you and a person go in between things that should just be you and them so i felt like jayla put that on herself because she didn't keep things to herself that was going wrong with the relationship and that's how um the baddies twins and missy knew stuff about her and her boyfriend because it's like jayla okay you're telling them that's how they know like things are going wrong but it was just like a whole thing with the sex leak with the the boyfriend like it was just all crazy with that and i know she really didn't want to talk about that because that's like really a touchy subject matt i could imagine if i did a sex tape with my boyfriend and he puts it on the internet just because he's mad like what a whole lot of things with her and missy like in the antigua video and then to me i just felt like jayla is a party girl and missy is like a more laid back or chill on the beach type of girl and, and it does seem like from watching both of the videos and watching like the vlogging videos when they was going on trips it does seem like jayla has like a drinking problem honestly it seemed like jayla has a drinking problem and it's okay because it's like it's understandable it should be common because it's like okay jayla you just came out of college the college life jamaica vlog missy she was saying that missy basically ruined her whole jamaica trip missy took pictures of jayla for her birthday trip and missy basically explained in her video that she gave her the memory card and she didn't have no more memory on her phone well on her sd card so she had to delete it so then she just figured that since she gave jayla the memory card she would have just saved everything onto her laptop and jayla did it and that became like a big feud between their friendship because it's like dang like it was my birthday trip like you the main person i expect to have the pictures you need to delete them like you're supposed to help me down it was my birthday you know things didn't go as planned and J love basically try to charge everybody a thousand dollars they had to pay for she was on the phone with him in her video and the guy basically explained like oh basically everything was free you just had to pay for the chef the cleaners and to use the water and the light bill which is very understandable like that's fair and plus the currency in jamaica is totally different from our currency and the u.s so everything is a lot cheaper jayla should i did okay it costs this much for this it costs that for that okay since it's six of us on a trip um she could have split it within six people instead of just saying oh everybody gotta give me a thousand dollars and especially if you guys are not doing any excursion or anything that's gonna look kind of funny like oh she's just trying to steal our money i don't appreciate that and that's when jayla went wrong 
where she wasn't explaining after Missy after she knew that Missy told the girls like oh this was supposed to be a free trip this and the third Jayla should have broke everything down like this is for this this is for that I'm sorry everything is not going plan I'm gonna give your money back but everybody was just feeling the type of way like oh how come we had to pay a thousand and Missy didn't pay anything to promote the guy's brand he had like a liquor brand in the house because they do like airbnbs at the house in jamaica so he's basically like oh have like a whole bunch of influencers come and basically give him a shout out it's jayla's birthday it was like oh hey jayla since it's your birthday we're gonna all turn up have fun in jamaica but things didn't go as planned like the other girls that jayla invited they did not know that that's how the trip was because they just looking at it like oh we gotta pay a thousand dollars and that's it Jayla should have went into more detail even if you didn't tell them like ahead of time you should at least give the girls heads up when you guys got down to Jamaica because it's gonna look funny like imagine if Missy didn't come how would it would have been she's by herself and you guys are not doing anything that was supposed to be on the agenda for the trip and it's just like yo like bro aren't we supposed to do this do that we just eat we just sitting here eating drinking and that's it like i know i'm not paying no a thousand dollars just to be eating and drinking where i could stay in my own state i could stay in my own house and i oh to me jayla is just i don't know it's just a whole a lot with her and i just feel like girl just take back from society and get your life together you got a lot going on you was in a toxic relationship your friends is failing like girl you honestly need to get a little break because everything is just happening back to back to back to back and that's a lot on one person just to be going through those things like you need somebody to talk to even if you can't even trust people go get a therapist you live in the state of new york there's a lot of therapy people onto the internet and said he says she said because that's when everything will start up even if you and your person have a beef with each other you don't go to the internet like yo i hate such and such we um we got into an argument because this that and a third no keep that off the internet you know you guys have a lot of followers so it's like your your supporters gonna be looking at y'all sideways like what's going on y'all just seem fine in y'all video and then all of a sudden y'all guys are fighting and it's just like what the heck is going on because that's how i know i looked at it like every even though y'all edited it out the videos but it's like at the same time your true supporters that have been following you for years we know when things don't seem right but you know everything takes every everybody go off their own time in and that's because it's at, it's, it's at the point where nobody wants to be her friend and i just feel bad because she's all alone she's very confused she has no life to talk to at this point because yeah she just crossed bridges where people couldn't get over and which i i feel like it's just crazy i feel like her and the baddest twins could have made up if she didn't make that second video and her and missy i just feel like it's gonna take if both it's gonna take both of them to work on their friendship not just one of them both of them but i just feel like to the point where they just need a separation and jayla just needs to heal before she could even heal with her friends at this point like it's like girl you need time like you got out of a toxic relationship why are you jumping to a new relationship saying that oh he beat you and he sent out a sex tape and all this crazy stuff going on how you just hop into another relationship girl it's like every every time you get in a relationship you need time for yourself to figure out yourself even if you and a person was dating for two months you still need time for yourself just to have fun and i just feel like that's what jayla wasn't doing she wasn't taking the time out for herself and she was just getting right back into relationships and it's like girl missy she was pulling out receipts with the deals and it's like girl like we know missy wasn't lying about everything that happened and it's like jayla why you keep on 
putting yourself out there as if like these people really don't mean anything to you and these were your friends like your true friends Ooh, and that highlight I don't know. I just pray for all of them like, that they can rekindle their friendship. But it's it's kind of awkward to be watching somebody's videos and a person is not there anymore. Like, you guys had a fallout and y'all not friends anymore. To me, it's just weird because her and Missy was traveling together. They had so many videos together doing this, that, and third. Or even if they was on, like, a sponsor trip or something, um, Missy was always there with with her and now it's going to be so awkward because at the end of the day y'all still have to do business no matter what and it's like wow Jayla is like really not going to be Jayla and Missy no more it's going to be Missy with other people and that's it's to me it's just crazy how that transpired so quick like everything could have been resolved if they would have just had better communication even Jayla I don't know when she, when she got her body done Jayla was like totally different from where she show us how she acts on her channel and then when you see other people how she act is totally different and to me it's just like it's just being fake and phony and i'm just like yeah so i just finished my face and this is the finished look yeah it's looking at highlight i'm blind y'all right now and the last video you could tell Jayla was really, really hurt. Like, you could see it all in her face. She was hurt that she lost her friends, her close, close friends. And I just felt like she was really, really hurt. And I just felt really, really, really bad for her. But at the same time, it was like, okay, she was saying, oh, I wasn't talking about this person and that person at that aspect in the video. But it was like, okay, her and the baddies twin, she was like, oh, um, I didn't try to say it as if they... They um charge both of the phones on my card, but then in the next sentence she goes, "Oh well, I don't know if it was them or not because the cops didn't." It's still an ongoing investigation, and I'm just like, hm, "Girl, you might as well have said nothing about that." Because and then with Missy, it was like Missy, her part. She was like, "Oh, I apologize for some of the things that hurtful things I said." But then she goes, oh, Missy left with the guy that they planned a trip with Jamaica and they left off and they had sex. And it's just like, you Jayla, when are you going to stop? How you apologize and then you break out crazy, like saying crazy stuff. Like, how is that going to help you rekindle your relationship with them? And it's just like, girl. And then she goes, oh, Missy put her hands on me. I didn't expect that. Okay, you guys are both for drinking. What do you expect? You're having an argument. Like, what do you expect? But my thing is, we don't know all this stuff. And it's just like, you keep coming out and coming out. And it's like, you don't want your business to be out. But it's like, at the same time, why you keep on saying, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And then putting the person business out. And it's just like, girl, just stop. Why are you even making this third video? All y'all said y'all points. All y'all said why you guys don't like her. Y'all all say y'all disagreements and stuff. And that's that. Last video that she said she she could have called Missy. She could have called the Daddy Twins and be like, oh, boo. Hey, this is Jayla. You know, I'm so sorry for making a video. Da, 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 and saying this, this about you. And, you know, and it could have been not on social. That wraps it up. Um, Leave in the comments below how you feel about the whole situation. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this look that I did on myself. But yeah, like, comment, and share this video, please. I if you're new to my channel and you watched this whole video and you ain't press that subscribe button and you ain't hit on that bell, I'm highly disappointing you. Thank you for watching.